remember their white noise. Hey, you're watching Never Enough Notes. I'm Kim. Welcome back. I'm with Nathan Nash backstage at The Great Escape. How are you? Well, thank you. Thanks for taking time to talk to me. Of course. Yeah, no. So straight in, I want to talk about your album, Seeker. What is your favorite song from your record? Uh, the title track, Seeker. That's yeah. why I actually named the album Seeker, because I just wanted people to hopefully listen to it all, but I really <laughs> wanted them to hear Seeker. Yeah. So tell us about where you're from. I'm from Saskatchewan, Canada, uh -huh. so the big rectangle in the middle, and then I live out in the country, like kind of in a ghost town kind of place. Um, oh, wow. I'm too far from Moose Jaw, so I just say I'm from Moose Jaw, because um, it's really like, I don't know, my folks are there, and uh -huh. it's, it's cool, but I like to spend a lot of time out in the middle of nowhere, which is in the, in the prairies. Yeah. Wow. So that, do you think that really influences your music? Absolutely, I think it does, yeah. yeah. I really like, I, I like seclusion, like I like being like um, close to nature mm -hmm. and um, you know, the prairies is such a vulnerable feeling, there's vulnerability and openness to the land that yeah. I hope that I can convey in, in some songs. Yeah. So like, well, how did your journey into being a musician begin? Uh, I started writing songs when I was 17, so okay. late compared to a lot of people who start younger, I guess. But, um, <laughs> I, yeah, it was actually when my grandfather passed away that was like the way that I mourned and grieved mm -hmm. was like just writing songs. Like I wrote a song every day for a little while just oh, as like wow. the way to try to cope. And then uh, that's and then I just started playing, performing them live because mm. at the time I was playing very more traditional country music. Yeah. And I grew up in an area where that was really celebrated. And so I just got little gigs here and there, you know, Wagons West Cookhouse. And, you know, like, and the rest is history, right? And the rest is history. So on Seeky, you did a collaboration with Bears and Hazen. Yeah. How did that come about? Were you friends? Well, not, nope, not really. No. <laughs> now we're friends. Now, now we're friends. friends. Yeah. Now you're friends. Yeah. But um, they they uh, do a music program, a music camp in their hometown of okay. Swift Saskatchewan. They don't live there anymore, but they grew up in Swift uh -huh. Saskatchewan. Hometown. So they do a music camp, and every year they bring in a future artist. And one year they brought in me, and they arranged a few of my songs to perform with me on stage because I've been like I was totally solo before that, um, and it was pretty cool. And it worked. And I said, "Can we do this again?" And then uh -huh. next thing you know, we um, touring across the country together, and then we were working on an album together. And it's been neat to see how it kind of grew and became something. Yeah. That's really awesome journey, I guess. Like what you have, is, you can evolve in so many different ways. It yeah. must be nice to really explore explore yeah, that absolutely. and play your music in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I think it's a little bit weird now. So if you okay. were a new color crayon, what color would you be and what would it be called? Um, well, the, my favorite that already exists is I'm a forest green kind of gal. Uh -huh. But I think, though, if I was going to have a color, um, that was me, maybe like a really offensive orange color, like a like kind of like my hair, but like but gross, and it would be called uh, Megan Nash. Oh, that's really the Nash cool. crayon. Ugh, can you pass me the, the Nash crayon? Crayon. Yeah. Mm. So what's next for you? Like, what have you got planned for the rest of the year? Um, more festivals. Uh -huh. um, uh, back home, uh, mainly in Canada for the next few months. I'm hopefully going to write some songs. Um, I bought a new plant. So I'm going to try to keep that plant alive. Oh, what'd you get? I actually don't know what kind it is. It was just a cheap one at the grocery store. And I keep asking people, like, what is this plant? And I don't know. So I hope my partner's been watering it because I've been gone for... I was just... Before I came to the UK, I was in Germany for... And, I don't know, five weeks, four or five weeks, yeah, so yeah. I hope my plant's all right. So what was the last gift to got somebody? Um, when I was on the road um, in uh, Austria, uh -huh. I stopped by this like really cool trendy shop in Vienna and I got my sister a nice little enamel pin. And I always like to take her like funny weird little candies, like w not weird candies but strange to, to us um, that we can't get in Canada, unique candies I should uh -huh. word it. Um, and so I got her some cat-shaped little jube jube things. Oh, cool. What are you going to take it back from, uh, from Brighton? Um, I haven't bought her anything yet. Oh, what should I buy her? Oh, shit. I don't know. We'll, we'll make sure that you get home before I publish this online so you can find out. Oh, yeah. But, um, rock. Do you want to get some rock? Do you want to get down to the beach? Or you want to get some rock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's sticks cool. rock, like, break your teeth and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Megan's sister, I'm sorry if your teeth get damaged as a result of this recommendation. She's got, no, she's got great teeth. She's got really oh, good cool. teeth. I've, I've uh, not, I don't have good teeth. She's got very good teeth. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, her teeth are very strong. Oh, 
that was good to know. I'm really <laughs> happy about that. Drink. Yeah, I don't want to be responsible for anyone having to like a massive like dental, dental bill. Thank you so much for your time, Megan. It was really good to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your trip, and I look forward to hearing about what gifts you buy your sister. Thank you so much. Thanks for the chat. It's been yeah, a lot of fun. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think Kim, you watch it never enough notes. It can be intoxicating to see another.